subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. The day after China ended its biggest military exercise around the Taiwan Strait, the Taipei Army was back in a firefight exercise. The exercise is the second time that the Taiwanese Army has held the exercise in the southernmost region of Taiwan, precisely around the Pingtung area, at 08.30 local time. Although it only lasted for an hour, Luo Ijai, a spokesman for Taiwan's 8th Army Corps, said that the grand exercise was held by his country by fielding hundreds of soldiers, long-range gunners and flare guns. In addition to the above weapons, Taiwan also issued several artillery weapons that were arranged in parallel on the Pingtung coast. Taiwanese armed soldiers also fired missiles from the Howitzer artery towards the border sea. Before this geopolitical tension occurred, the Chinese government had already warned Taiwan to close the door on a working visit by the chairman of the U.S. House of Representatives, DPR, Nancy Pelosi to Taipei. But the order was ignored by Taiwan until finally China was angry and held air and sea exercises for days, threatening the security of Taiwan's border areas. Even China has also issued strict sanctions on Taiwan, so that this country is willing to carry out reunification in accordance with what is attached to the 2000 White Paper Agreement. For information, since the release of the White Paper Pact, the relationship between the two has continued to deteriorate, especially since Tsai Ing-wen took office as President of Taiwan in 2016 where her party rejected the one country, two system model as proposed by the Beijing-made White Paper. According to Taiwan, China deliberately used Pelosi's visit as an excuse to start drills that would allow it to prepare for an invasion. This is what makes the Taiwan government reluctant to follow China's orders, 